Christy here for yet another process video. I'm hoping you're enjoying them and I'm always open to feedback and suggestions. So please leave a comment if you have any uh, questions or comments for me. So here I am just going through my embellishments. You see here I have a huge pile of stuff that I plan on trying to use. That uh, pack of ephemera. Ephemera, how do you say it? I don't know. Ephemera is from uh, the Gossamer Blue Kit and it's made by Fancy Pants. And you saw some other uh, goodies there from Studio Calico and Gossamer Blue. Uh, you also saw some uh, color mist that I'm going to try and incorporate in this week's layout as well. So usually I try and take a photo of my layout as I have it laid out with the pictures and cards uh, before I do my video and I didn't do that this time around. So you see me kind of uh, fiddling around with these cards and uh, you know switching up the placement a little bit trying to remember how, where I had things before I did my video because I as I mentioned before I kind of pick out my cards and stuff uh, while just kind of watching TV and just place them in the pockets and then when I have a larger chunk of time I return to it to do all the embellishing and journaling and date stamping and that sort of thing. So I didn't do that this time so lesson learned uh, next time I will be taking a photo <laughs> before so you don't have to watch me fiddling around. And uh, it's still not quite right because on the left hand side I am using design Y and that bottom 4x6 photo is not in the right spot yet. So you see me switching that around a little bit later. The labels that you see me using are from the Studio Calico kit and they're pretty awesome. I, I hadn't used them yet. Uh, it was four sheets and I believe each sheet had about six or seven labels and they were all numbered with gold foil up until number 32. And uh, so I started backwards. I started by using the one with 32 and then I used quite a few on this layout. Uh, I just didn't foresee myself using 32 like um, that number so decided to work backwards so not to waste uh, any of the labels with the lower numbers. Here I am corner rounding. I decide not to corner round that bottom left hand picture because it would cut off the words which say this morning and this evening and that card is from Gossamer Blue. So I finished, skip through the corner rounding. You didn't really need to see me doing it all. And now I'm just matting um, this photo and I didn't have that uh, happy, funny, silly, crazy card in that spot previously. But as I was corner rounding, just kind of out of the corner of my eye, I saw that card or that embellishment and thought, hey, that will be pretty perfect because it's uh, a whole bunch of kids, a whole bunch of babies in a ball pit. And uh, it is pretty happy, pretty funny, pretty silly and pretty crazy. So I had an idea to use the color mist on this title card. I don't really use a lot of the color mist and I don't find I'm very good at it. <laughs> so uh, the title card turned out pretty well and I also used the mist on uh, a, another card and it turned out okay. There was a little mishap but it worked out okay. Here I am doing my title card. Again, my most favorite part of uh, Project Life is, is working on these title cards. Uh, it just allows me to be like really creative and just use a ton of embellishments. I had taken out some alpha stickers and uh, decided to ins use these uh, alphas that you see me using right now. These are from Allie Edwards' uh, Week in the Life kit. And I just liked the simplicity of the white um, for, for um, the card here. And, uh, but they weren't popping very well against that mint green with the hearts. So I decided to use some of that thin blue washi. And I liked the way it looked, but the hearts were kind of distracting to me. So I decided to cover all of the hearts up with a thin blue washi to create like a stripe. 
the reason why I, I chose that mint green um, or mint blue or whatever you want to call it uh, card with the hearts is mostly because of the color. I really love the card on its own with the hearts. I th thought it was really cute, but it just was um, not working. So I decided to make uh, kind of a striped card to pull in the blues and the mint green and then I also use gold throughout the layout as kind of an accent color. And I really like the way that that looks, uh, kind of just creating uh, my own pattern paper there. I just realized that I said that those Allie Edwards uh, alphas were from her Week in the Life kit, and they're actually not. They're from the One Little Word kit. So in addition to the 12 by 12 album, uh, for my daughter, I'm also attempting to do one little word. I am like three months behind because uh, it's. I just find it like way more fun to work on uh, Nora's one year album. So here I am using those alphas again. Um, the picture I'm working on right now is a picture of my daughter and I at the library. And I had this wood veneer that said story that came in a gossamer blue kit. And so I'm using the alphas to uh, write out the word time. So then I'll just like cluster the two together to say story time. And uh, I thought that was pretty cute. And I liked, really, really like how it turned out in the end. So I'm just kind of rearranging. I really am trying not to make like such a huge mess uh, as I'm making my layout so that you don't have to watch me like... Uh, fix up my <laughs> layout the whole time but uh, anyway I think it's inevitable I decided I did not like those uh, the letters that I chose for 42 so I decided to go with gold and just switch those out there so week 42 some of you on Facebook were asking like where does the week week numbers come from because they don't coordinate with the the weeks that pretty much pretty much everyone else is doing uh, so week 42 is week it's the week the age I guess of my daughter so she is 42 weeks old so once we hit 52 I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing I might just wait until January to uh, start uh, our 2016 album but I haven't decided. Her birthday is in July, so I'm just not sure if I can go like six months, five months without doing Project Life, so we'll see. Finished up my title card there during my ramble, uh, added some stars and a paperclip, arrow paperclip there. I believe that's from Freckled Fawn. And now I'm going through this ephemera pack uh, from Fancy Pants that I got in a Gossamer Blue Kit found uh, one item there that I wanted to use and now I am adding the gold alphas again to this card. So you can see that this card is the other card that I chose to do the color misting on and it says happiness is and I tried to spell out standing up. I really really thought it was going to fit it did not, so now I have to change my plan, and it says happiness is pulling up. Now, some of you might not think that that makes sense. I myself don't really think it makes sense, <laughs> but it'll have to do. I could have said pulling yourself up, but then, you know, yourself probably wouldn't have fit either. And, uh, yeah, anyway, pulling up. Because this week, week 42, my daughter started pulling herself up uh, onto furniture and toys and the baby gate and all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty, pretty exciting. Here I, you just saw me layer again some labels there. And that today acrylic piece is also from Gossamer Blue. Now I'm doing a cluster of items. Uh, I wanted to bring some gold into this card and uh, I'm just debating if I put that high, that gold high uh, piece on that card. There's like half of a body of a baby there and I just, I wanted to cover her up so it wasn't just didn't appear so awkward. And I do that a lot, like I use embellishments to hide uh, kind of things. I just did it again there with that wood veneer piece also from Gossamer Blue. Gossamer Blue has amazing embellishments. 
Uh, like, I just love the, all of the embellishments that come in their kits. Uh, and I use them all the time. You know, I, I subscribe to Studio Calico and Gossamer Blue. And I really debate like canceling one of my subscriptions but I just can't do it because Studio Calico has beautiful cards I love them and Gossamer Blue has amazing embellishments so I mean if you could combine the two that would be like ideal but I will carry on subscribing to both until my husband tells me I'm not allowed to anymore I don't think he will though he doesn't really care it's my money anyway so I'm just adding some uh, more embellishments. I toy around with adding some more of that blue washi on this card. Just sad I don't like it. It's not really doing anything for that photo. So I take it off and just add that embellishment there. These stars and hearts are from Gossamer Blue as well. There's cork and wood veneer uh, in this little baggie. But I decided just to use the wood veneer pieces. So I add a few of those and tack those down with my glossy accents. Uh, I love glossy accents, but like why does it always get clogged? So like half the time I just have to, I'm spending like trying to unclog it. Uh, if there's any secrets to that, please let me know. My video cut out there a little bit. You didn't really miss much. Uh, attaching that paper clip it wasn't attached before it was just kind of floating there because uh, I was deciding if I liked it or not but here you saw me use my tiny attacher and just staple it onto the frame there just so that it didn't shift around and uh, attach I thought about attaching that um, gold piece from Gossamer Blue as well I thought about attaching it with the tiny attacher but I didn't know like if I had gold staples I totally would have but the gold and the silver the silver staples I just didn't really don't love that so I decided to use my glossy accents I found uh, some more embellishments here in my pile that I had set aside so I'm just kind of playing around with those seeing if I like the uh, like the look of them anywhere I have this like it's not a puffy sticker it's like I don't know what kind of a sticker it is but it said favorite and it was like the perfect color and so I was kind of seeing where that would fit so I decided to use it on this card here of my daughter or this picture of my daughter eating and uh, just I would just journal then about like what her favorite foods are right now adding a little star to uh, that picture in the top left corner uh, I like to I'm all about color so I like to use like or try to use all the colors uh, in a cluster I guess so that that cluster already had the blue and the mint green it didn't have any gold yet so I decided to just to add that little gold star there just to kind of make it more cohesive I just found this piece of a label so I'm kind of just playing around uh, seeing if there's anywhere to add that to my layout and decide to add it to that picture with the puppies uh, playing with my daughter and I'm almost ready to uh, um, this came together like super quick uh, and just found this gold uh, yeah gold star paper clip and uh, just tacked it on there too I have a really hard time with paper clips like I don't understand how they work so uh, you know I want to see the whole entire shape and I can't really do that when it's on the card so I opt I usually opt just to like staple it with my tiny attacher so you can see the whole paper clip so it's just a, a different way to think about using embellishments so I'm on to date stamping I feel like this uh, layout came together pretty quickly uh, there's quite a lot of journaling cards so as I'm date stamping I'm just kind of thinking about which card will go with what picture and then coordinating the date uh, when I'm stamping there and uh, yeah I'm pretty much done the embellishing and I'm on to journaling I still don't really know how I love the bottom left hand corner card and especially when I start to journal on that card uh, I just don't like it as much so I you might see that I swap that out 
uh, when you see the stills. But thank you so much for watching. And again, please, please, please leave me any comments or questions you may have. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Sweet Girl Designs and stay tuned for an exciting announcement and giveaway coming up very, very soon. Thanks. Bye.